Howdy y'all. It's Crazy Cooter again. And what I want to do in this video is I got a rotor. It's an AR22 and an AR22 controller. The rotor came from Wildman. And the controller came from Little Man. And what I've done, I've already gone through the rotor. I've already identified some problems. The rotor itself is okay. I took everything, all the gears apart and greased them. And uh, got it back together. Motor inside was good. Works real good. But uh, this controller, uh, as you see, I got the dang controller just all sorts of apart right there. So, I got this camera on a tripod. You see, I got the alligator clips and the jumper wires hooked to that capacitor right there, that black capacitor. Now, I, I took a controller apart uh, was for a TR44 and found that the selector switch was burnt. And uh, I took the capacitor out. Which, uh, excuse me, get over here. You see, this capacitor is, uh, excuse me, 50 volt AC. I believe at 100, maybe 35, 100, or 215 microfarad. Anyhow, I call them cigarette or cigar capacitors. They look like it. But uh, anyhow, this is the one that came out of the 22 controller. It's got a higher microfarad capacity. And uh, of course, I would figure this one would get it going. But it don't. So... Anyway, I assumed that I got two bad capacitors. So, I got this one. Now, I've had this capacitor for a while. Excuse me. This is hooked up. It's a Vanguard. It came from uh, high gain. 130 to 156 microfarad. 110 to 125 volt AC. And it makes this thing take off and run. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll try to, those that don't know how to time a 22 uh, controller with a rotor, I'll go over that. I can do that with the cover off. But, uh, let me sit here and run this thing back and forth. And what I'm going to do, uh, this is the small end is the pointer. One end is thicker or taller. And it's got a little red indicator and that uh, runs on a cam inside the rotor. It's all geared. Look, two little cams on this outfit inside on this gear spin around closed contact which pulls this coil in and all the spring mechanisms in there make all this move that's where you hear such of a uh, 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 noise all the time but anyway I'm going to run this a little bit and you can see the rotor turn and everything like that and I am I am at a south position this is a, a north all the way back around the north position this might have been used up north somewhere you know to talk to the south or whatever but they're a little different from uh, 44s 45s and hams and stuff
but I'm going to trick it if I can. I'm getting it out of time on purpose. I jacked with it. It's going to... Well, it did stop, but I'm going to go ahead and run it all the way north. Okay, you hear the rotor humming. That means it's not in time. So there is a thing on the bottom, a little tab, that helps you advance it to get it in time. And you just push it back and forth, and it'll the little red indicator will match up with a pointer, and it'll shut off. Now, you want to run it all the way back to the other north. This similar method is used on Radio Shack rotors, which if you're a serious radio talker, forget it. Don't even buy them. It ain't worth your money. Spend some money and get one of these. They're cost effective. They're good rotors. They'll last you a lot longer than a Radio Shack rotor will ever do you. But if you can't use one of these, and You might need to figure out how you can. Some tower or anything. Alright, so it's getting back over and it's starting to time. It might line itself up. Okay, this one did pretty easy. Sometimes they might take one full turn this way. Then you advance it. Then you gotta do it again. And it centers it. So, this one timed out real good. I don't have the capacitor in it that goes in it I'll have to either put that one in it or just put this up on the shelf uh, I don't know what I gave for this probably about oh, maybe 10 to 15 dollars I mean, plus the shipping and I probably spent six hundred dollars buying stuff from high gain at one time bought a bunch of things I had two of these one of them I used in a 33 controller box which they don't high gain don't ship out these capacitors I don't guess they can get them anymore but this is what they send you they send you one of these and they tell you that'll work so. but I found out if you got an older controller box They've, damn things won't even fit in there. I've had to cut the plastic off for one of them just to get it in there. That's all I could do. And it ain't worth my fuel to go driving around or sitting on my butt researching, you know, when I need to get it back to somebody for, for their business. So, anyway. And, uh, they have to have a, a good working capacitor in there to kick that motor off. And to keep that motor running. The motor runs anywhere from 24 to 28 volts. So, anyway, this is a little thing I want to do on these rotors. And we'll catch you later.